is a supersonic car that is trying to break the land speed record of 1,000 miles per hour. The education side of the project is paramount. If we built the car and we just went racing, but we didn't inspire anybody, I don't think the project would have the value that it has now. Our partnership with Swagelog started in August of 2015. We gathered a team together just to talk about the concept of what is Bloodhound and are there applications in our schools with our students and learning about this real world project. The project-based learning gives relevance, but it also doesn't cap the learning. Students can take it in lots of different directions. Versus if I give, for example, a science lab with a very predicted outcome and steps, I'm going to get just that. So you have a driving question or an essential question, and then you still are teaching these mini lessons. You're still teaching about the continents. You're still teaching about climate. You're still teaching all of those things, but the context is Bloodhound. If we never give our students real challenging problems in school, they're not going to be great at it. And so one of the benefits of this project is that we're able to give them problems and to show them models of others who are trying to solve those same problems. The state of Ohio teaching standards are actually pretty broad. So by layering the bloodhound over, that's your lens through which you're going to examine those standards. We studied the regions of the United States and then we focused on bloodhound itself and then put them together by asking the kids to um, come up with whether or not they thought bloodhound could have been done in their region of the United States. And we had a phenomenal discussion. They talked about things um, that just blew my mind. Bloodhound could suck all the air out of a normal house in three seconds. I learned that the Bloodhound, it doesn't have rubber on the wheels because it goes so fast, so they have uh, metal wheels. And they talked about the design. I like the designing and building part, how like you can um, design something on paper and then if it doesn't work, you can always start over. And we talked about making mistakes and how that's okay that that's how we learn things. I want the students to learn to persevere through the trials. They have an idea, they develop their idea, find out what works about it, what doesn't work, not become discouraged because in real life, this is, right. this is the way it is, mm -hmm. um, and then go back and mm -hmm. make it better, try again. Right. Problem solving skills, I think mm -hmm. that's a huge thing that uh, at this age is really valuable. If I could have a job on the Bloodhound team, I think it'd be the person that would find the location for the car to be placed and to be tested. The job I would want to have on the Bloodhound team would probably be the driver or the pilot because I'd be probably the first one to experience 1,050 miles per hour on a rocket car. We have lots of lessons in school where we teach kids great stuff, but it's that inspiration piece that Bloodhound really delivers in bucketfuls. There is so much that is um, coming out of this bloodhound and the lessons and the excitement about what they're learning. Students are learning at a deeper level. They are making connections that we never had them make before. Students are going to be so intrigued and excited about the opportunity that they truly are going to stumble upon so much learning. You are not going to have any dull moments in your classroom. That in the process of examining the Bloodhound Project, there's going to be so much embedded learning that's gonna happen um, that it's a priceless opportunity. If they can make a car that's 1,000 miles per hour, maybe I can make one when I'm older that's 2,000 miles per hour. We can go even farther than what we think and dream about.